wow 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 this story is so emotional as we are here you know my people is alleged to that when Naomi penned a goodbye note to Kabi AC. Yeah, knowing fully well that Kabi AC has a better plan for her and Tadene Kawo, as Dr. Lizzie has uh, exposed uh, all the secrets and plans for Tadene Kawo and uh, Queen Naomi. But yeah, even as though as Queen Naomi knows that uh, Kabi AC means well for her and her son, but uh, the force is behind all these things is what is is not she's not understanding and she's not going to continue because kbc does not really want to come out of it it's true that we know uh, kbc might be my under manipulation or under spell or what but you know when uh, someone is willing to come out of something then you will know that the person is willing to come out and if there's any help you can render to such a person then you render that help to the person. But right now, Kwenomi has to let go because it seems KBAC does not want to be helped. As we heard, after Dr. Lizzie has exposed everything, KBAC plans for her because KBAC said he has repented and is no longer going after what, what, what. I've already made the video. If you go to my channel, saying it here would rather make this too long about the secret that uh, Dr. Lizzie exposed to Queen Naomi. They said after uh, Queen, Na uh, Queen Naomi took a pen and notes, beautiful notes, memories to KBAC, stating that, oh, she knows quite well that KBAC might not be himself, he's under, might be under manipulation and uh, might also be under spell, uh, that he did what he did to protect Tadenekao, so that people who want to stay out will not, will stop fighting him. But does it even end there? Even now, we heard that uh, uh, they are already planning to take him to UK. Uh, anti Calabash and uh, anti Blue Blue. But it didn't work for them, as Kwenomi refused bluntly. If there's any other place KBC might want to take his son to, Kwenomi would have agreed. But to see UK is a hell no because of the fear of the unknown. So, my people, now we are hearing uh, Kwenomi give Kabis a goodbye, you know, a goodbye note. Normally, it would have been a goodbye case, but it don't happen now. The way we take being on a goodbye note. They said Kabis was shattered hearing all the things Kwenomi mentioned. Kwenomi went ahead to tell him how she loved him so much, how she sees him as the husband of her youth, at the first moment she saw him, he knew he was going to marry him and he didn't come to deceive him. But so unfortunate that it turned out this way. Coming to the time she got pregnant, she was so happy as they announced to KBAC. The memories that they shared, the happiness that was all over the palace at the time she announced her pregnancy, all those things she listed there. Then coming when the Tade was born, they said Queen Naomi was the golden uh, uh, hen that lays, lays the, golden, uh, the, the golden egg. Yes. So that period that they was born, Queen Naomi reminded KBAC that it brought so much joy to him. And she was happy seeing KBAC. Very happy. It was just two of them. Two of them and life was so sweet. Not until KBAC started following women. Because he has power and influence. My people, according to the way where we take care of now, they take talk. Oh, no, be me talk. Oh. I know they did when we know me, they tell KBAC this. Whether not by phone or whether not by face to face, I don't know. All me I know is that they said we know me pens a note. So the time we know me give birth, they said he was telling KBAC joy was all over. And I wish that this joy would last forever. But it happened this way. Thank God. We are not going to question him. It happened for a reason that she believes in her notes she said she believes if it is the will of god that they will come back then so be it that she cannot stop it but for now let her rest her case she still love him yes because of tade Nikau. you have to love the father of your child fine is that true is that how it's supposed to be okay well, i don't think so so uh 
Konomi penned this note, they said, when KBAC saw this, KBAC was shattered emotionally, physically, spiritually, educationally, academically, economically. It was shattered. Like, hearing that I still love you from the mouth of Queen Naomi, I was like, ah, why would Queen Naomi say this kind of thing to ex-husband? He's not even husband again, ex-husband. If truly both of them have uh, dissolved the marriage, is it still right for Penomi to tell? That is if it's true, because I don't know. If it is only that said, I still love you. Or Penomi that said, I still love you. Oh, sorry, they said it was only. Mm -hmm, because you cannot tell me Penomi will say such a thing. No, she will not say it. Because Kabeese has become an ex. Penomi will never use such a word on Kabeese. Like, I love you again. No, 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 no. So they said it was only that said, I still love you. After reading all those words, he said, he sent message to Konomi, I still love you. Please come back to me. I'm shattered. Baby is never see anything. He's shattered. Okay. Well. So, my people, hmm. as it's already they come, eh, the thing they, they did me somehow. I was like, why would Konomi write that note to Kabi? Because a lot of people say she wouldn't have written that note. She would have just kept quiet. They on low key. That writing that note will now make KBAC think, ah, she's, she wants me, that no matter what, she will come back. But if she has kept mood, KBAC will not say, ah, this one, what I don't pass, Gary, as KBAC will begin to go up and down again, to know what to do to himself, to know what to, how to do this Oloris to bring Panomi back. Because I know, if KBAC decides to let this Oloris go, clear the whole palace, just him, Kwenomi might return back. Yes, ask me why. Because Kwenomi is not the type of person. Looking at her, she's not the type of person that would just want to get married to any man. Understand? So she will definitely, she might go back to KBAC. If, if KBAC repents and show by example, not be by mouth, so she saw this Oloris away and, you know, Tell Kwenomi that I am ready for you now. I think Kwenomi will return. So, Kabi AC went emotional. He was shattered, struggling for breath, you know, just because Kwenomi wrote him a goodbye. Yes, we heard Kwenomi is busy addressing people. Even Paropo, we heard Kwenomi also told Paropo goodbye oh, with a lot of acknowledgement and thank you, thank you, thank you very much that she did. You know, Paropo was so happy hearing that from with Naomi, you know, but she he cannot do anything. He tried his best. The young man tried his best to ensure that his daughter, the best daughter-in-law he ever had. He said it now. Ah, Paropo, they say Paropo know the high mouth so that anyway, where Paropo come, any occasion, he will talk, say, ah, with Naomi and my best daughter-in-law, don't joke with her, oh, don't play with her, she's my baby girl, oh. Imagine that kind of hype. So probably this uh, only of his wife are not happy about it. And this might be one of the reasons that fighting that she should leave. And now it seems to them that they have had victory. But let's wait and see. Time can tell. Only time can tell. Except all the prophecies they gave for Kwenomi and Kabeisi is not true. If it is true, my people, forget. One day they go run, come off from that palace, and they no go know what they to pursue them. Yes, now. Because now so it they always be. I don't know how true this information is, my people, but that is what I'm hearing. Please kindly stay glued to this channel. Subscribe, oh, give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget that all these are alleged information. I will be right back.